By trade, I'm a school psychologist, which means I specialize in diagnosing learning disabilities, attention deficit disorder, and other disabilities that might cause a child to need special education in school settings. Uh, so that's what I do by trade, and I specialize primarily as a result of uh, children ages from 3 up until about 18. Um, but my other passion has always been neuropsychology, and that's kind of what got me involved here at Quiet Mind, because it seems to be a nice bridge between diagnosing brain-based problems and actually treating them as well. And that's always been the one thing that I feel has been lacking in terms of modern technology. Essentially, I, I guess one of my strictest specialties here is actually the assessment diagnosing um, disabilities in children as well as adults. Uh, and then with those findings, doing a full neuropsychological evaluation, um, the convenient thing we have here is that not only can we diagnose the disorders, the brain-based problems, we can then, if it fits under the treatment modality for neurofeedback can automatically transition. So uh, in many cases I've done the evaluations, um, have pinpointed for Dr. Berman exactly where, which area of the brain or which um, part of the brain was not responding or working the way we expected it to. And he's able then to design a protocol, a neurofeedback protocol which focuses primarily on that part of the brain and then treating it with the neurofeedback so that the time it takes to rehabilitate that um, is much less because we have been able to pinpoint it. So that's kind of how we use assessment and treatment hand in hand here. Having worked uh, as a school psychologist in the city of Philadelphia for nine plus years now, um, pretty much safe to say that I have a good handle in terms of what works for children with disabilities, what doesn't. And perhaps one of the greatest things that I've seen is while the standard approaches, let's say, in the public school systems as well as the suburban school district systems is to use a reading program or some sort of um, packaged kind of uh, program to increase math or reading skills. Those results have been significant in terms of the ability of a student to make improvement, but neurofeedback has been shown through research to actually provide maybe two to three times more improvement in such a short time. So that, for example, if it takes an entire school year for a child to improve their reading skills from X to Z, neurofeedback is able to obtain those results and then more within maybe about a three months time, as little as three months. Uh, and that's been remarkable because what it's basically, when you get to the, the reasons why it's working, is because we're not just treating a very specific deficit, let's say, in a student, which is maybe reading words, or how to spell words, or um, how to visualize math. We're actually approaching the problem from the very core of the brain, trying to figure out what is it in the brain that isn't quite working right when it comes to doing this kind of problem. And what we found, which is quite amazing, is that you might do a s sessions, a neurofeedback protocol, which is really trying to get at a student's, let's say, attention problems and we design a protocol that eventually their attention increases over a course of 25 to 30 sessions. But as a result, we see all these other side benefits, which is quite amazing that you see suddenly teachers saying that um, their reading has improved, their ability to understand what they're reading has improved as well. Um, math skills, their behavior in the classroom has improved. So it's really attacking a lot of things because basically the brain is seen as the central command center when it comes to behavior um, and that's what we're attacking um, and then what's really nice is uh, the other traditional approaches work very nicely side by side with neurofeedback so that if someone is trying to do a Wilson reading program with a student and the students also receiving sessions of neurofeedback we found that the ability to respond to the Wilson program is much better and they make much more improvement when they're involved in neurofeedback versus not. Because you're basically, once again, reconditioning the brain to perform better. You know? And that, that here at Quiet Mind is probably what my focus is. It's really dealing with students and adults that have um, problems with learning, 
but as other people in the office um, have witnessed and what they focus on is not just learning problems, but maybe people who actually want peak performance. You know, their brain isn't necessarily what we would call out of sync. It's actually working fine, but they want to improve that even more. You know, better their golf game or do better on the SATs, things like that.